guys and welcome to this week's edition of the Coffee and Hero Show. It's going to be a slightly shorter version this week. A couple of reasons for that, namely, first of all, that the delivery was a day late. Uh, obviously, this week being a bank holiday on the Monday, delivery only arrived today. So it gives us a little less time to process it, get everything ready. Pull lists are all done and things are ready for the racks, but I've still a few wee bits and pieces to do, labeling variants, that kind of thing. Uh, and then the second reason is because this week's a bit of a quieter week as well. So when you have months where there's five release weeks like this month, so there was new comics on 31st, tomorrow, 24th, 17th, 10th and 3rd. Uh, that means that one of the weeks is always going to be quieter than the rest. So with this week, for example, it's more annuals, uh, it's more one shots, things like that. So there's less variants of come in, for example. Uh, the pull lists are a little lower as well. So. Just with those little factors in mind, I just thought to do a slightly shorter show, just take you through what came in new this week and also my pull list as well. Uh, I should just say a couple of things quickly. Uh, first of all, tomorrow slash today, depending on your watch this, uh, 31st of August is the last day of the Omnibus sale. Been selling very, very well. Still a couple of really good titles in there at good prices, uh, but tomorrow will be the last day. After that, they will revert back to uh, full price. Uh, second of all, we will be sending off to CGC tomorrow slash today, 31st of August, is the cutoff point. So if there's anything you want to drop into us, feel free to do that tomorrow as well. We'll get those shipped off with uh, this. Uh, we ship off every two months, so it'll be shipped off with this shipment next time we'll be sending. It'll be end of October uh, third. We've been starting to add more and more stock to the website. Obviously, with bringing Chris on board for the store, I have an extra pair of hands. Chris has been uploading stock to the website. So there's definitely going to be new stuff going on there pretty much every week. Uh, another announcement as well, you know, it's not really related to us, but certainly it is uh, applicable to comic fans. Garth Ennis, of course, is coming to Forbidden Planet this weekend. Uh, they'll be doing a signing around there from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. From what I understand, it is a free signing. But if it's only going to be 1 o'clock to 3, I would imagine there'll be some decent queues. So get down there early. I mean, speaking of Garth Ennis, we, we were lucky enough to interview him last week for the podcast. You can check that out on the podcast network, but we also uploaded the video to the YouTube channel as well. So you can find it elsewhere on there as well. We'll start to put a few more of the podcasts up on the YouTube channel, things like the previews, pod reviews, different bits and pieces. So again, just to you know, try and reach a bigger audience once again. So, but yeah, just to take you through this week, as I say, my own pull list is here and then the, the new stuff in this week as well. So pull list wise for me, uh, first of all, we have West of Sundown. So this is the last issue, I believe. Uh, issue 5 of this Kraken Wee mini series from Vault Comics and uh, pretty much mixes Supernatural with Western. Definitely one to keep an eye for for the trade when it hits if you didn't get into it this far. Magic Order 3, Issue 2, really, I mean I love Magic Order in general but there's a really nice unique twist to Magic Order at the moment in that there's a different artist for each volume and I think it gives each separate volume a unique flavour. thought Issue 1 was great, Issue 2 is this week. Next up, we have another title coming to an end, AWA, this is The Joneses. The Joneses is essentially the AWA superhero version of the Fantastic Four. Uh, so it's written by Michael Marek, Alessandro VT on art for that one. Also speaking of AWA Studios, uh, the first volume of this is already out in trade. We have it on the racks called Devil's Highway, which is all about sort of the dark and the horror of what happens on America's highways where maybe there's less people paying attention. And uh, this is volume two, so we're up to issue four of that. Next up, we have a new Oni Press series. This is called Blink. Uh, this is issue two. This is uh, Christoph, Christopher Sabella, uh, Hayden Sherman on art. And this is issue two. I have issue one. haven't read it yet, but I'm a sucker for indie titles. What can I say? Uh, another one that's been really, really good from Boom Studios is Alice Ever After, Dan Panasan and Giorgio Spalletta. Uh, it's been a really nice reimagining of Alice in Wonderland. And again, I think either five or six is the last issue. So again, be hitting trade very, very soon. A little bit of Marvel stuff now. We have The Variants, number three. This has been great. Gail Simone, Phil Noto. It's primarily a Jessica Jones story, but you've also got Luke Cage in there. You've got uh, a lot of flashbacks to her stuff with the Purple Man. And in the last issue, you also had Daredevil. Obviously, this one, Flavor of the Month, She-Hulk as well. Brand new number one this week for uh, Marvel, which is Thunderbolts uh, from Jim Zub and Sean Isaac on art. So brand new number one, new Thunderbolts team, a little bit of Hawkeye in there, color me sold. Next up is Ant-Man. Uh, this is issue two, celebrating 60 years of Ant-Man no less. Uh, this is Al Ewing doing this one, it's going to be a four issue miniseries. And this is issue two out this week. 
a nice one shot out this week is Amazing Fantasy 1000. So it's pretty much a celebration of all things Spidey, let's be honest. Lots of great uh, creators and artists involved with this one. You know, Neil Gaiman's involved, what more do you need to know? Uh, so yeah, lots of uh, mini stories, anthology type situation. Lovely John Romita Jr. cover there as well. One that was out a couple of weeks ago, but our stocks were very, very low. When I say low, they just weren't sent. Uh, but they've started to come in this week. We've got the Sandman facsimiles. So of course everyone's enjoying the Sandman TV show. Hopefully getting a start on that myself this week now that we finished Stranger Things season four. And this is a complete perfect representation or reprint of issue one of Sandman. So if you want to see how it all started before jumping into trades, for example, perfect reproduction there. We next of all have Harley Quinn. There's a Harley annual this week. I've been collecting these, which are the homage variants. This is an homage, of course, to Batman Hush, when you have that iconic Batman looking out over the city. Ran Suk has added the detail over the Jim Lee artwork of Harley Quinn being involved with that as well. Speaking of facsimiles, again, back in stock after we sold out last week, Detective Comics 27. So first appearance of Batman, again, perfect uh, reproduction. This isn't just the first appearance of Batman, but you've got loads of other stories in there as well that form part of what the anthology for Detective Comics was. But again, back in stock this week. I basically used this week for a lot of restocks because again, there weren't a lot of new releases. Uh, Batman One Bad Day back in stock as well. I cannot emphasize how good this was. Uh, Tom Kane, Mitch Dredd, 64 pages, no adverts, adult storytelling, and also links rather nicely to the killing joke in a really interesting way. Uh, and then I had a couple of uh, big books this week for myself. So we have Grant Morrison, The Animal Man, Omnibus. So I love me some Grant Morrison, but this is one of the few runs that I have not read. And this uh, covers basically his career launching run on Animal Man. I mean, my exposure to Animal Man is predominantly New 52, uh, which was fantastic, Jeff Lamar. But this covers uh, the first 26 issues of the Legendary series, as well as the characters I mentioned, spanning creation tale from The Secret Origins 39, and an intro by the author, so a little bit of fresh Morrison stuff as well. So got a couple of those in, so they'll be on the racks as well as in my pull list. And then one that was out a few weeks ago, again we sold out, so I got it back in and one for myself, is the Razorblades book one. This is the hardcover uh, of the horror magazine launched by James Tenney the fourth. You've got tons of great creators involved with this. It's anthology based, horror based. Uh, you know, you've got Tinian, of course, working on there. You've got Vita Ayala, you've got Weather Della Derry, you've got Matthew Rosenberg, Tyler Boss, Michael Walsh, Jan Bartel. Tons of great creators involved. So again, those will be on the racks as well as in my books. Uh, but moving on to stuff that's in this week. So again, a nice little mix of stuff that's new this week. A couple of restocks, the usual. So once again, Berserk, the Deluxe Edition, Volume 1, back in stock. I always have one to ten of these on back order. So as soon as they come into Diamond, they get sent to us. So again, if you want to go right back to the start, volume one right there. They've recently been reprinting Spawn in compendium forms. So this is the third compendium. We've got one and two over there as well. So the first compendium is one to 50, second compendium 51 to 100, and then compendium three, 101 to 150. So if you want to play catch up with Spawn, this is the way to do it. They're chunky, they're great value. They work out about a pound an issue uh, going through. Definitely the way to do it if you want to get into Spawn. Another interesting little omnibus is the Grendel Omnibus. This is from Matt Wagner. This is through Dark Horse Comics. So this is collecting together a lot of different mini series for Grendel. Uh, so you've got Grendel Black, White and Red, Red, White and Black. You've got Behold the Devil, Devil by the Dead. So again, another character, independent, creator owned. If you want to get into it, this is volume one. This is where you start. We have a lovely hardcover Dragon Age in this week, also from Dark Horse. This is the Wraiths of Teventer, the trilogy that pits Venry and the Inquisition against the Venturi for the first time of Thetis in a single volume for the first time. So again, lovely oversized hardcover, beautifully put together. I've just talked about Razor Blades. You don't really need to hear me talk about it again, except the set's also. Uh, so that is Razor Blades. Uh, a new trade in this week, or hardcover I should say, is Animal Castle. A little bit of a retelling of Animal Farm, but in a nice lyrical, more adult way. This was uh, through Ablaze Comics. And again, nice hardcover collection of the entire series of that. Hardcover wise as well, we have Harley Quinn, the Eat, Bang, Kill Tour. So of course, this is the Harley Quinn animated series tie-ins uh, series. And uh, again, the same sort of adult storytelling you get from the Harley animated series. 
Uh, it kind of works as like a 0 0.5, I think it's set in between the seasons. I've mentioned Garth Ennis, of course, so I've started to get a few of his classics back in stock. So we've started to get Preacher back in from the start. So volume one right here, got a few of these. And again, if it's stuff you want to pick up to get signed when you, you know, go to the FP, we've got more and more stuff back in stock. But yeah, Preacher, one of the single best things ever written in comics, bar none. Uh, a more recent release from Garth Ennis and also PJ Holden, who we also interviewed on the podcast. You can check that out. Uh, we, we broke it into two separate interviews, so it was like a 200 cover A, cover B sort of thing. So we interviewed PJ as well, and PJ is the artist on String Bags, which of course is written by Garth Ennis as well. So uh, yeah, those are back in stock this week as well, as is Devil's Reign. We sold out of this like that last week. So uh, it's great to get this back in stock. One of Marvel's best events in years, if you ask me. Nothing to do with the fact that it's Chip Zdarsky or the fact that it's Daredevil. Just as great. Uh, we have Silk Age of the Witch, a little mini series that came out recently. This was a, a five issue mini series. Uh, some great art in this as well from Takeshi Maezawa. And then it's written by Emily Kim. We have some of the, uh, let me see. So there's a couple of Devil's Rain tie in books this week as well. So we already had in a previous tie in book last week, which was Superior 4. Uh, now you've got Devil's Rain Villains for Ha and Devil's Rain X Men. So the X Men one collects the X Men three issue miniseries, but also uh, Winter Soldier Devil's Rain. And then for Villains for Hire, you've got the three issues of Villains for Hire, but also the Devil's Rain Moon Knight issue as well. Last volume hits this week of The Scumbag. This is such a great series. It's so underseen, so underappreciated. Uh, Rick Remander. It pretty much opens up a lens on America. Uh, it puts saving in the world in the hands of the worst possible person. Very darkly humorous, lots of action, really cool art. Highly recommended. Uh, Wastelanders is a new one out this week as well. It's a collection of, I think it was five different one shots. One, two, three, four, five different one shots, uh, which is all set in the Old Man Logan universe. So you have Wastelanders, Wolverine, Hawkeye, Star Lord, Doom, and Black Widow. So again, all collected into the one volume for your reading pleasure. Newburn Volume 1 drops this week as well. Chips of Darsky makes his second appearance. Uh, also with Jacob Phillips on art. Jacob Phillips, of course, does phenomenal work with that Texas Blood. And it's just as good in this as well. Newburn, dark noir, mob stuff. Highly recommended. Back in stock this week as well is Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Every time we get this in, it just keeps selling out. And there's a reason for that. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite books the last year or two. Amazing, amazing art by Bill Quievely, brilliantly written by Tom King. Eight issues, one volume, can't go wrong. And two hardcovers to finish, one that is sure to be big is Batman 89. Terrible movie, but you know, everyone knows my opinion on it, I'm not going to go into it again, but uh, Batman 89 is like the, a continuation on from that universe. So, you know, they, they checked out the Billy D. Williams, you know, turning into Two-Face, for example, if there had been a Robin that turned up and so forth. So six issue mini from the guys who love the movie. I've heard nothing but great things. And then the last one to pop in this week is uh, the next volume of Joker. So this is the hard cover of uh, Joker. So there's going to be three hard covers in total. So this one covers issues six to nine, but it also includes the Joker annual as well. The Joker annual was brilliant. Uh, Francesco Franco be on art. Gia March, of course, is the artist on the main series, and you don't even have to put up with the terrible punchline backups. You can just enjoy the brilliant, one of the best Joker slash Gordon stories told in years, right there. So yeah, so as I say, slightly shorter show this week, just again, I'm a little bit more uh, time pressured this week, just with the delivery coming late and so forth, but still wanted to always keep you guys informed for what's coming in, what's going on in the store and so forth as well. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. As ever, anything I've paid to say, just get in touch with us, let us know. We'll always do our best either hold it for you or if there's something you miss we can always get it back in so uh, again hope you enjoyed this hope you're staying safe out there and i'll hope to hopefully see you in the store soon so take it easy